feeling as if you won't be able to survive you feel like ah but is it even worth it you know what with the scholarship i can actually just go the problem with passing ig is that you get this mentality now nah. if i could pass ig what is as you know what what do what does youtube and welcome back to yet another episode gang you know who it is if you are a team subscriber i'm gonna let you know how much of a gorgeous gorgeous wholesome you are if you haven't subscribed to my youtube channel make sure to click that red button and while you're at that don't forget to hit that notification bell anyway <coughs> guys i know i've been gone for like way too long and that is because i had school i know it looks like no she got a thousand followers now she thinks she's something i post a stuff like that but to be quite honest <laughs> I was an A-level student and it was not easy at all which is why the title of the video is um, we're gonna do a sleek bun but in that time I'm gonna tell you about my whole A-level experience and how messed up it was do you know what I mean do you know what I mean to begin with this is what my hair looks like this is what my hair looks like so we're gonna use some water well I know it doesn't look like water it's it's it's, it's a mixture of some herbs from the kitchen that I use for my hair which is very potent it's like cloves and ginger and all of that inside but you can just use normal water water spray whatever you want to call it and hey guys isoplas it's no longer the one we used to think it was like isoplas just did something and it was never the girl she thinks she is or we thought she is so I'm gonna be using that and some leave-in conditioner this is the only leave-in conditioner i have in the house from fro girls and some auntie jackie's my auntie jackie's one is actually finished that's why i'm using this one but let's just get into the nitty gritties of all of this you guys i'm not even used to using a mic a microphone but yeah anyway the girl is back the girl is back and she's better what had happened was I started A levels last year, 2022. 2022, right? Yeah, I started my A levels in 2022 after doing my form five. And when I tell you that, okay, um, I'm grateful that I got the Top Achievers Scholarship from DTF. And you know, the first thing that I wanted to do was do A levels because I felt like one. I don't I didn't know at the time what exactly I wanted to do after that. I just knew that the subjects that I had as my cause or like my base subjects were finance subjects. So I just thought, ah, I know I'm gonna be in the finance line or the investment line or commercial line, business line, economics line, but I don't know what exactly it is I'm gonna do. And also at some point our teacher kept on telling us that look Guys, do actual science, do actual science, you know, actual science is the best, best course you could ever choose for yourself. Hey, employability, you're going to be paid so much, yada, 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 He told us that, you know, actual science is the hill, the mountain that you're supposed to fall on. Do you get what I mean? So, maybe I can't read. He gave us advice and I was like, okay, that's my teacher talking. There's no other person who can tell me otherwise if my teacher is telling me that, I should do actuarial science because he was telling the whole class that you guys should do actuarial science with economics and all of that. Okay, I do my research before getting my IG results and I was like, okay, this looks like a complicated course. But for me to have, um, an, should I say an edge or more understanding of it is if I do my A-levels. So let me do A-levels so that I can go and do actuarial science. Okay. All right, but um, I start A-levels. <laughs> Guys, when I tell you that math used to be my favorite subject, math used to be such a fave and ugh, the teacher who taught us at the time was just the best. Math was amazing. It was a cruise until I got to AS level. So AS level is basically um, the first part of the whole A level course, which is a two year course. AS level is basically like part one of this A level diploma course or whatever. I don't think it's a diploma, is it? But yeah right so <laughs> first day of maths maths is looking hectic like it's looking it's not giving 
that is not giving first day first week first month i'm thinking that no it should get better like it should get better or more understanding i should get better at this like i'm intelligent i got the scholarship so it has to be nah you know what i mean eh metso wapala guys metso wapala and <laughs> it wasn't even just that like even my other subjects accounts like for the first term or two in accounts i was struggling i don't want to lie here not struggling per se but okay let me tell you what a level does okay there's this huge transition between ig and a levels so if you're a private school kid you know that at ig your teachers give you no excuse for you to fail every resource there everything is given to you like on a silver platter for you to pass Did you get what i mean not that like we're given answers because people get this misconception that ig students are given answers how do you hear the answer we're not given the answers it's a matter of you have every paper you have done every paper you have revised it in class you have understood and analyzed the trend of how a paper is structured Guru, you have no excuse whatsoever to be failing you know you have no excuse to be failing so why exactly are you failing ig and then come come as level it's a whole different approach the teachers are not spoon feeding us like they used to spoon feed us everything is a diy if you don't do the work they're giving us this semi university approach of like if you don't do the work it's on you and we are moving cuz as contains a lot of content okay a lot of content in the syllabus is involved there and i don't want to lie it's just hectic it's super super hectic so I think you saw what I did there. I just applied some product so that the hair is all sleek and stuff. Now I'm going in with some gel for my sleek sleekness thing, right? So we 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 are thrown into a lion's den with AS and khujigigigi like our teachers are just have just switched up on us. I remember our class teacher would just come with so much work. Every day it's a new topic and I'm like, "What when when do we get time to grasp what we have already done?" Cuz with A levels, with IG, you could just literally do your homework and you understand, you understand. Or you don't even need you just have to listen in class. You see, with IG, just listen in class. You'll get a 70 or something. Maybe an 82 if you're well attentive, you know. Eh And then okay I'm not trying to make this bun very very um what do you call it I'm not trying to make it tight because I want it to last for a week or 5 days at least so ish but my hair is so much I want to cry it's just so much my hair is so much like I actually want to cry Anyway Yeah so that transition was just overwhelming for every student there because it wasn't like it's just a few people or just me failing it's <laughs> the whole lot failing well the the the, the admeds people that did admeds were really thriving in maths when they got to a levels because that's what they were used to i guess we were told that's what we were told right gorela <sighs> hela one term 2 term 2s comes in and the syllabus content it's still very very so so much right syllabus content is so much and <laughs> we just feel burnt out at this point but also the problem with passing ig is that you get this mentality a hard now if i could pass ig what is as you know what is as like oh, come on come on like only the chosen ones are here because mind you I'll notice oh, the school I go to is a very strict school and very disciplined well what 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 they, the students really pass so if they allow you to come for AS that means that they know you're going to pass they know you're going to bring those results for us for them so they've accepted you you've got your exception letter hape na baba tama dia ke re hape gore men ta re duella wena okay jiki jiki heavy heavy mm Okay, let me do the same thing to this part. Jiggy jiggy heavy heavy. Um we're still going through this turmoil of passing failing, passing failing, passing failing. 
not even passing passing would be like 50 percent borderline borderline in maths specifically this transition was just the most painful thing ever because you go from just chilling and relaxing to now you have to put in the work maths is no longer the maths the way you just cram a formula and use a formula you're gonna get the answer no now you are expected to apply yourself to use every math that you know every math you've ever seen every concept of math you've ever seen you apply yourself and that was the hardest thing for me i don't want to lie hey hard in the sense that dog no what do you mean i should think like just i just want to cram the formula and get the answer you know what i mean and like it was the whole class guys the whole class like girls or most of the girls or let me just say people 70 or 60 percent of the class that didn't do admits for from five okay so like yeah come 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 towards the end of the year we are freaking out because the situation hasn't gotten better it like it hasn't gotten any better it hasn't gotten any better it's just worse and worse and worse and worse and worse and worse it's getting worse and worse <laughs> oh okay i'll sleep that in a few so i didn't like that they have this, they had this tendency of like if you're getting low marks low marks meaning boomer like 40 percent they'd call your parents so as they didn't call my parents because i was passing child but like borderline passing you know the threshold type of passing uh fuck i had to spray this okay let me just fix this part i'll come back just now Like imagine you are consistently failing and you feel like you are gambling with this this scholarship thing, my boy. Okay, just hold on, give me a second. Period. This is a sleek bun, guys. This is what you call a sleek bun. So let me just fix it up and brush it, brush it, brush it. This is how you got it. This is how you get a sleek bun. So I don't even need to put bob bobby pins, but like because it's like flat, it's sleek. Period. No, I think my hair has grown. This is the only reason why I can achieve this style so effortlessly because because normally i take so long <laughs> to get my hair flattened and also the water helps see eh? water really does help <laughs> my god oh i don't even need the pins though i'm just adding them for the aesthetic at this point I'm just adding them for the aesthetic. Not that I, 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 I need them. Yeah, but my hair has this tendency of like... Of coming out on this part yeah yeah on this edge like on these edges so I'm trying to 
so let me fix it this side also it's not even tight guys like yeah it's not even tight the hair is not even tight or maybe i'll feel it later i don't know but it's not tight it doesn't feel tight and then for here i'll just so I, I don't like combing my hair i don't like the tangling my hair because why why should i do that but for the sake of i actually prefer to rather just put this into a kung, you know i'd rather put this into a bun than it being out like this but i guess i'll do that tomorrow because i'm gonna have the style on for let's say a week okay but i need one more pin here Your girl is ready. So this is how you achieve a sleek bun, guys. Um, I can't find any of my silk scarves. So what I'm gonna do is, I know my sister doesn't use this bonnet, so I am just gonna go inside with it like this, cause I just need the silk part. Do you get what I mean? And then tie it around my head, cause I can feel the gel is melting already. I'm gonna just do this. Yeah, then let me just hold it back and tie it with this. Guys, don't judge me. Don't. So it doesn't slip away. Anyway, so back to my story. I was about to give up on this video. So let me, yeah. So this experience was just so humbling because for the first time, we actually have to put on effort. We have to actually do the work, put in the work and apply ourselves. No spoon feeding. No, um, this is how you get the structure of the paper, whatnot, whatnot. And it was... <coughs> It was overwhelming for a regular regular student who's coming from ig it was overwhelming but i feel like it has been said before that if a bg student would have done a levels they would have found it as a breeze or they wouldn't have as much difficulty as an ig student because as we're just used to having all the resources there come a levels we're given a university approach which it's a complete different shift and we have we, we still we are immature for it i don't want to lie like i felt like i wasn't mature enough to grasp that concept until a2 came so a2 that's when we started becoming more reflective of my study study um aspects or how i actually approach this type of course because it's very demanding and it is difficult but you get used to it because it's preparing you for university either way you, what a level is is basically foundation year you are the minute you get into a2 that's basically you doing your second year of university of that foundation part of it you are easing into that type of um structure or approach to studying which is no longer ig but like it's now university you start feeling like a university student and besides the fact that you still have to wear a uniform and it's a trimester and you just are still a high school kid in other ways study wise you're university but like school structure wise you're still a high school kid you know hey fast forward to a2 a2 just gets worse and the teachers told us that no less pressure comes in a2 less work all of that all of that yeah in terms of content like the syllabus was a bit less than in as because i remember for accounting in as there were 48 topics that we had to learn in a span of not even 365 days you know less than that way less than that and then come a2 which is a level advanced level because the first is advanced subsidiary level and then this last part is advanced level um yeah we had like 12 topics economics wasn't no economics is always so much business is always so much so imagine the science students what they had to go through sleep the night all over again yeah no quarter when you get to a2 that's when you start you start scouting for universities and like feeling as if you won't be able to survive you feel like ah but is it even worth it you know what with the scholarship i can actually just go and leave the school start university right away because either way the time when i get to university if it's not in the uk just in botswana or just elsewhere i'm gonna be starting from year one either way but with an advanced or with an edge 
compared to other students who are just going in there from first year. Was that? Eh. I'm there like, you know, at term one, you know, I'm just focusing on applying for my S applying to universities and getting out of here at got term two. Then it just so happened that our <laughs> DTF was like, no, you actually have our scholarship, basically. Our government scholarship was like, no, in actual fact, this course is not what you're going to do. First, finish your A-levels, and then you can go to this particular course in this particular university. And then our dream, my dreams are crashed because I felt like I can't do this anymore. I can't. I'm tired. I can't be schooling like this because it got to a point where for me, I felt like it was depressing. It was stressing. Matters worse. La <laughs> High school is nice when you had started from form one and ended A levels with the same group of friends. Now my OG OG friends had went to their different universities and I felt like I'm the only one there. Well, I made new friends with my classmates, but it felt as if, you know, a part of who I am, which is when I'm in school, has been stripped away from like school used to be enjoyable if you have people that relate to in life people that you can tell anything and everything about your life in a way you have to restrict yourself minimize yourself or not necessarily minimize but like these are your classmates not your friends friends you get what i mean yeah come a2 i'm only starting to be grateful towards the end because now i, I i've realized the level of maturity i've came to and the level of the leadership status i've managed to achieve within myself you know the level of growth that has come with these hard two years of just enjoying 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 the workload the hard work the this and the that the what i'm grateful for that experience because it has made me who i am today i feel like now if you throw me into the university world i won't i won't be so happy for the freedom yeah it comes with freedom but know where your limits are so an a-level student will be able to know where their limits are you won't just go there and <laughs> fd the first semester no you have come a long way for you to throw it all away like that so unless you were someone who came from a strict background and it's strict in school it's strict at home and then the time when you get into university you're all alone in our hey hey you know it becomes a whole wishy wishy thing of yeah that's too much freedom for you you don't know what to do with it but otherwise overall i'm so grateful for the a-level experience i do encourage anyone that's applying or that wishes to go school abroad to start a-levels because what i know is that when you go to ub in botswana they don't accept an a-level course as something so big you know they believe that you should do their bsc first which is basically what science students do in my school who are going to do medicine or any other student who wants to do whatever they have you have to do your bsc or like your i don't know what that university language is yet but that two years first which is it which is the, what you do in a levels you have to do that first before enrolling into what you're gonna do for the future your career you know so yeah and also i love how a levels has literally just you know sharpened my lungs and clear it out to what exactly i want to do which is a secret <laughs> but yeah i just know that i'm a finance student and now i know what i want to do so i encourage someone that's gonna be going abroad but also check the requirements some universities actually don't require a levels and if you don't want to do them sh sure but just know that keep up with the work there okay don't be too excited because you're done with form five you think you're someone you've left the country now the world is yours you're gonna get distracted so don't do that to yourself you know be smart about your life decisions which is what a levels does to you it makes you become a smarter person better decision making you know know where to draw the boundaries be disciplined time management that's what it did for me i don't want to lie that's what it did for me because i got scared you know you're just like already if i don't work hard for a2 that mark i got an as it's just <laughs> you know so it just has indoctrinated that discipline into myself which i'm grateful for that is why i have been off youtube for so long but now i'm back and i'm better rebranding and stuff guys i'm even doing a sleek bun because i feel like i'm so tired of looking like my problems it's about time my belly goes up you know rebranding and stuff like that you'll be seeing a lot of me more consistent version of me because now i have no excuse i have no excuse to not be posting a video 
I mean, I'm going to be dropping like two videos a week now. I'm not, it's not a promise, but I, I plan on doing that, okay? I'm not too sure if it was audible on the last clip, but I forgot to show you guys the end result, which is this. Very slick. That's what I like about it. I told you I don't like this hair out like this, so tomorrow I'm just gonna bun it, put it into a bun. It's just that I'm too lazy right now. It's giving Tara Mulusi, you know, because I know she likes a sleek bun and she looks good in it, you know. I don't know what else it's giving, but it is giving, okay? Hmm. Per. And for shorter hair, someone with shorter hair than mine, I advise that you use about three to four ribbons because or hair bends because it's easier that way you have to section it and to make sure you get like the, a sleek sleek parting like this you go small piece by small piece small piece by small piece i only do two because my hair is so much and i don't want it to be tight tight if i went more than two my hair would be like that would be like this i don't know it would be super tight so thank you for watching this video if you made it this long I love, love, love you and appreciate the support. Um, until we meet in the next video, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tell a friend, tell another friend. Even internationally, baby, we can do this.